All right, so this is Tariq for the Bear Facts Podcast on YouTube. Like, comment, subscribe. Check that, smash that thumbs up button. Smash that thumbs up button. Uh, get them algorithms going up. Um, hit that notification button so you can get all the newest uploads and stuff like that. Check us out on IG. You'll have access to all the merchandise available to uh, purchase merchandise. Send me a DM. And this group of uh, <coughs> NFTs are examples of gifts that I had created. Now, when I do the gifts, <coughs> when I do the gifts, I always uh, do the gifts. Most of my NFTs come from original art pieces, like like original artwork. I don't, I'm not using reference images. I'm just doing what I'm doing. But with a reference image, like that, I can make it look better than this. You get what I'm saying? Now, I'm, I'm going to put the uh, illustration pencil drawing up there eventually uh, and update on all the art I've been working on over the last couple of years since I ain't been working as much as I should or want to. Um, <clears throat> but like I'm saying, this was a present for somebody. They like dinosaurs. This was what I came up with, like a collage of different dinosaurs. I have not just the illustration for the uh, dinosaur gift, which is, like I said, a marketable thing that they can market as an NFT. I give them one with their name on it, personalized, and then they got one without their name on it as far as the NFT. I got the poster print behind me. I'm not going to get that right now, but I'm going to display that eventually. And the poster print is Chris. It looks like that, but like it's wall art. You throw it on the wall. Uh, and then I got, like I said, the, the illustration. I'm going to give them the original. I have copies of it. And then like, you know, I can make that the copies into a print and they have the original and then like, you know, years from now, like, you know what I mean? Like, the, the original illustration might be worth more than the digital drawing. You know what I'm saying? You never know. I don't know. I don't know where life takes you, but, you know, like I said, I always think money, so I have a business with the art. I like the art. I like the business, so, you know what I mean? <clears throat> That's like a collage I made for my kid's mom. And I'm going to leave it at that. This is a, this is a Christmas present for uh, somebody. Um, and the same concept, like, you know, you give them the NFT, and they can do different variations of different things. And I do this, like I said, I don't do, most things I don't do, uh, when I do the NFTs, I don't have a, a reference image, but you know, this is what she's into, she's in anime. So this is what I gave her for uh, Christmas. And I sent it to her, I don't know if she got it. This is for somebody else, uh, Christmas present, like I said, I send it to you, you do what you do, you sell it, and then you make residual income and, um, stuff like that as people resell it if you want to resell it or whatever and then like I said just like with the other gift I got for the young boy you can print it out a digital uh, poster print Chris looks good you can um, put out a canvas print which you know stretched out on the canvas it looks good too and you know you could do different things this was another gift for somebody I could tell the backstory of that, but I'm not going to. I'm going to leave it at that. <clears throat> but that was an old gift. This is something else. But, like, you know, I figured you can, um, even this, this can be marketable. And you can swap out different things. And, uh, like, the nationality of the individuals or whatever. Like, you know, the color, the, the clothes and stuff like that. Whatever. Add, subtract, add uh, crayon. But, uh, like I said, in a different video, I think this, this was a gift for somebody for Christmas. Um, they were family-oriented, um, but you can...
can resell this at like the Burning Sun or uh, daycare, wherever, like, you know, you got the teacher, the library, whatever. Strong balance, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Let me do some more marketing that I can see that you can do all the time. Or a target audience that likes family or daycare, like I said. And the daycare teacher, now this is another one that was a present, and it's personalized with the uh, name on it, but they also get the other one with the, uh, without the name on it, but they can post one, like OpenSea or uh, MetaMask or whatever they want to say. And then they uh, get the uh, stuff, and you can have, probably you can sell it infant, uh, like ongoing, and be like, yeah, I mean, because the point is, is that get it where it is like a factory or pushing them out to Walmart, you know what I'm saying? The uh, poster rack and stuff, like, you know what I'm saying? Mm -mm. The digital, so they can print it out themselves, whether they got it like Kingpins or whatever, or IP Press or whatever. Like, this is another gift, gift that was the motorcycle. This person likes, uh, this person likes like, motorcycles and race cars and stuff like that and muscle cars and stuff like that so this was one of the uh drugs and i put the uh i put the graphics for the street uh paint whatever you want to say in there myself so like yeah i mean it gave it that feel i did the distortion on the um background like if you can tell the uh the bikes are clear, but everything around it is distorted for that effect. I, I, I think people like that. I got that version, I got a regular version, and I got a different version, and I'm giving them all to them. And you can, this was the one with his name on it. I got another one without his name on it. This is another image of, like I said, he likes muscle cars, so it was like, yeah, I mean, I took the little jaw from the um, setup from the uh, car show, the Philadelphia International Car Show, and I put that together in a um, motivational quote, one with his name on it, one without his name on it, and you can sell that as a post of, like you'll find on Pinterest or something like that. It's the audit. Uh, I drew this. This was a gift for somebody. Like I said, they were a cancer. I'm a Libra. I put the infinity sign in there just for, yeah, you know I mean. But you can, um, the reason why I'm pointing that out is like that's the design on the, um, on the UFC fighters short. So you can say if you want to switch it to, uh, Pisces, which I don't know. I said that in another video. I don't know what Pisces. I know it's a fish, so I don't know what the uh, the thing looks like. Whatever, man. Say it's the Pisces and the Aquarius. You could throw that on there if it's uh, I'm gonna say Cancer and uh, Sagittarius. You could throw that on there, whatever. And then like like there's a reason why I put the ninety four on there, but you could swap that out. There's a reason why I put the phone number up there like all right so my my thing with the phone number is like those those are the addresses that i shared with uh this person sort of like the 215 we lived in philly the 746 we lived here the 10 june we lived in florida so those were the joints but like you can swap it out for anything your favorite numbers or a combination of a lottery combination that you want. I don't know. <clears throat> Alright, so I'm not going to go over that 94. I'm not going to go over the 94. I'm not going to go over the TJ2149. I'm not going over that. But uh, you could probably, uh, those are things you could swap out with different things as far as, I'm not going to go over the TJ, but like, I'm saying that because, like I said, uh, when it comes to the NFTs that I give as gifts, I try to make them marketable and make them so you can sell it. And then, like, with each variation, like, you can change. I keep saying the race of the fighter. 
then you can um, change the color of the shorts. You can change like a third, like the person I gave the gift to is uh, cancer. I'm a, um, what do you think? So that's why I saw the shorts. And then like the person went to UFC, I think, University of Central Florida. So I put that on there. Now, like little, yeah, I mean, things that she would recognize as me knowing about her and stuff between us and shit like that. And then the belts, I feel like you could change out. There's a little bear on them for like, yeah, you know, my stuff. And like different things you can swap out as far as that. And that increases the amount of things that you can sell have sold you get what i'm saying like it's good to have a hundred different things that are but that's a good thing for me to make one thing into a hundred because that increases volume that increases inventory that increases what people identify with as whatever and bring it home you get what i'm saying so there's that so i think that's pretty much it like the person I made this for, she liked uh, UFC fighting and MMA and Bellator and all that stuff. So, like, you know, I made that and then I put different elements on it that were unique to her, but they would just look like, like I said, tattoos, uh, shorts, designs, and logos on the ring. You get what I'm saying? But she would be able to sell it. Uh, this is another design for somebody else. This was a gift. All these in this collection, basically, you would call it because I wouldn't even post this stuff besides, like, showing you, giving you an example of a personalized dual purpose. Like, it's personalized gift, but it's also a marketable gift for them to make money off of. You get what I'm saying? So they can still, whatever. But anyway, so uh, this person I made this for was... Somebody I made it for, I just put it like that. And um, this was a Christmas gift. The purpose behind this was really, the thought process behind this was really like, you know, new life. Plus, uh, she said that she wanted to get a Phoenix tattoo. So I was looking at this, like, you know what I mean? When I was creating it, I was, uh, put the fire in there. I put the, like, tribal. And then I put the flames behind the tribal, and then I put the forgiveness drawn in there. Now, like I said, it's really based off of her telling me that she wanted to get a, uh, <clears throat> she wanted to get a phoenix tattoo. So I made the phoenix drawn. Then I added the forgiveness, but I don't think that's a common drawn. But you know, when it comes to the design and marketability, like those that know it, I think yeah, I mean, might like it. Cause that's like the rebirth and forgiveness and all that. Uh, like I said, with this, this is for someone else that uh, I was close to. Um, I told the story during a different segment, but I'll tell it again. Like you know, her father was and served in the Vietnam War. She had a good relationship with her father, and like you know. Even beyond that, there I don't want to tell somebody else's story, so I try to keep it vague on um, some stuff. But, uh, like you know, he served in the Vietnam War, and they had a good relationship. And like you know, I guess early on in her adulthood, she uh, assisted him while he was uh, passing away. At least, yeah, you know I mean, like I said, I don't want to tell somebody else's story, so. You know, there's that. And then, um, that's the knowledge between me and that person and the connection between me and that person to give, to try to create something based off of that, that they can then still market and to a broader audience of their own. So they can have an income off this piece of art. You get what I'm saying? And it's connectable. So the caption says, uh, the reunion of the heart, the homecoming. And, you know, you know, I did adjust the, uh, the image and, um, procreate to make the soldier, 
uh, look like a ghost since he had already passed. But, you know, even with that, like, you know, you can change the nationality of the soldier. You can change the nationality of the individual hugging the soldier. And then there's another story that goes with that, but I'll say that.